breaking news tonight. It was about a shooting spree that spanned two counties. It began this morning in Satsuma in Mobile County and ended with an arrest in Bay Minette in Baldwin County. David Stokes was arrested and accused of stealing a weapon and a car and firing at people on the side of the road and cars on the interstate. News 5's Mary Smith joins us now live from where the spree started in Satsuma. And Mary, this incident actually started last night. Yeah, Devin, you know what? The first shots were fired just right here, right outside of this pilot gas station in Satsuma, right off of I-65. But this is actually not where everything started to unfold. That was yesterday morning at a home in Satsuma. We spoke exclusively with that home homeowner today who tells us that she's pretty freaked out over this whole incident. But later turned into a shooting spree started right here in Deborah Wainwright's Elvira Street Yard in Satsuma. Evidently, he come down this driveway and he started peering off right there where those tracks are and just came on down. Police say David Stokes' truck got stuck in the mud in Wainwright's yard around 10 a.m. Thursday, less than 24 hours before he allegedly went on a shooting spree through Mobile and Baldwin counties. Come here. <laughs> okay. Wainwright's just glad her grandkids weren't playing outside. Thankfully, they were at school. When Stokes drove through her yard. I had laid my little one down to take a nap, and when I got up, I, my yard was full of Police. Investigators say he later admitted to being high on methamphetamine. Well, he could have ran, rammed a house, all I know. Stokes told police his chest hurt. They called an ambulance. And that's when things turned violent here at the intersection of Highway 43 and Juniper Avenue. He allegedly assaulted the medic in the ambulance and jumped out the back into the woods, sparking an hour long manhunt. But police didn't find him. Then Friday morning, he allegedly stole Councilman Randy Little's car outside a pharmacy and fired shots at a truck outside the pilot truck stop on I-65. He's charged with theft of property, shooting into an occupied vehicle, and reckless endangerment. And that reckless endangerment charge does stem from what Satsuma police say when he started to get onto I-65 northbound. He allegedly fired several shots at a homeless man. Uh, two of those charges may be upgraded to attempted murder. Reporting live in Satsuma, Mary Smith, WKRG News 5, local coverage you can count on.